Greetings and salutations, Geo Nerds. Today we're going to have a quick look at the correlation between the Brisbane flood map and the Brisbane geology map. And pro tip, there's a very strong correlation. There's some geology you don't want to live on if you want to avoid the scenes you just watched coming into this video. So anyway, it won't take long, it's only a short video, a little bit of monkey magic on the images, a little fly in just to put you in the in the picture of where we are. So anyway, it's Breakfast Creek here, this is a nice place, it really is. The uh, I'll just go to the pub and get one of those beers on the wood I think. Anyway, you know what I'm going to say, let's rock. Interceptors, immediate launch. Well, folks, we just dropped in from 248 kilometres. That's the height that America's richest Afro-American draft dodgers satellite um, spaceship just blew up from. Anyway, what we're going to do is just whiz up the Brisbane floodplain here, just to give you a bit of an idea. There's the city, obviously. Uh, we know this area floods, but where does it flood? And why does it flood? Well, it floods because it rains. Obviously, we get that. Uh, strangely enough, it seems to always rain in, in King Tide country. Hmm. Anyway, there's the old gateway bridges coming back up here to Breakfast Creek or Anogra Creek, depending where you are there. That floods very badly too, I might add. Um, and there's Kelvin Grove up there, coming back across the city, across Milton, which also floods pretty badly. Back down to St Lucia, which you just saw those units right there in that previous video. Anyway, let's have a look at the maps. Well, folks, here we have a, a uh, map of the Brisbane CBD and the the inner city areas. Orchard Flower, St Lucia, Dutton Park, Wollin Gabba, New Farm, Hawthorne, all those places. These things do flood. So what we'll have a look at now is a flood map of Brisbane. And you can see she's a floody old town. Uh, the different colours represent different heights. Uh, and, you know, that's obviously different years of different floods. So, yeah, that's an important map, and this, of course, is the Brisbane Geology map. T-Rocks viewers have seen this many times, because, you know, different geology. Brisbane Turf, the purple, is the narrowly firm vale, the green's the turf, but all the yellow is gravel. That's something we need to remember. And here's the topology. Uh, this is the uh, LiDAR, so we can see the ups and downs, the lumps and bumps, etc., etc. here. Now, wouldn't it be cool? Wouldn't it be cool if we could see these together? Monkey magic. Monkey magic. So here I've morphed the geology map on top of the Brisbane city map. You can see roughly where the geology sits in relation to the city. Uh, maps don't line up perfectly, but they're pretty close. Wouldn't it be nice if we could see the LiDAR like that? Well, Here's the LiDAR, so this is the, the uh, lumps and bumps, all mapped on top of the, uh, the map of the city. So you can see from those maps we've looked at, there's a, the ability to see the, the uh, ups and downs of Brisbane and the street map and stuff. That's pretty cool. Now, they did produce, of course, a flood map of Brisbane, and we've seen this a few seconds ago. That's a really cool map. But what if we could take the flood map and put the geology map over it? Monkey magic. Monkey magic. And of course, we can. And there's a very strong correlation between the flooding and the geology. That's, the rock is not drawing in the water. The rock is there because of the water. Most of those low-lying areas are in the light green or yellow, and they are gravels. So, if you're thinking of buying a home, if you want to avoid uh, what those people were going through at the front of this video, you might want to have a little look at the geology before you go putting your deposit down. Well, viewer, there you go. The correlation between the Brisbane flood map 
and the Brisbane Geology map. Obviously, the yellows are gravels, and the gravels come from the river. So they call them quaternary gravels, just means it's fairly recent. Brisbane history, geolo geological history, is very old uh, compared to other parts of the world. Some parts of the world were under the ocean still when Brisbane geology was pretty much where it is now. Anyway, I thought, I thought it was interesting. I hope you find it interesting too. If you've got any friends you think might like this stuff, flick them my way. I see all your new subscribers and thank you very much. And uh, hit the old like button because, you know, the algorithm is the algorithm. Anyway, till next time, keep rocking. T-Rex out. Endless eons wheeled and passed. Time and the pure essences of heaven, the moisture of the earth, the powers of the sun and the moon, all worked upon a certain rock, old as creation. 